ಪುನರ್ದರ್ಶನಾಯ ಪುನರ್ಹರ್ಷನಾಯ ಪುನರ್ ಮಾತ್ರ ದೇವಿಯ ಕೃಪಾ ವರ್ಷನಾಯ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಮೆರಿ ಕ್ರಿಸ್ಮಸ್ ಗರ್ಲ್ಸ್ ವಿ ವಿಶ್ ಯು ಅ ಮೆರಿ ಕ್ರಿಸ್ಮಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಅ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿ ನ್ಯೂ ಇಯರ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಯು ಅಂಡ್ ಸೊ ಟುಡೆ ಜೀಸಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಬೋರ್ನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ನೋಟಿಸ್ ಐಮ್ ಸಿಟಿಂಗ್ ಅಂಡರ್ ಮೈ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಅಂಡ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಮೈ ನೇಟಿವಿಟಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಮೈ ಬೇಬಿ ಜೀಸಸ್ ಬಿಹೈಂಡ್ ಮೀ ಸೊ ಲೆಟ್ಸ್ ಟೋಕ್ ಅ ಲಿಟಲ್ ಬಿಟ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಜೀಸಸ್ ಟುಡೆ ರೈಟ್ now in my mind this is the way i think why i feel so close to jesus is of course because i was brought up in spain and i was in a catholic school for the first 13 years of my life but more importantly he spoke the truth and he died for the truth think about it what was he saying he was saying that you don't need any middle person to get to god and i think at one point uh, I, i will be forgiven if my words are not exact but he did say why have you made um, the the house of god into a den of thieves if i remember correctly and for, and uh, please uh, correct me if you know the correct words but this is what he meant now the priests there obviously got upset plus he called himself the he said he was so they crown, he, he he said he was the son of god and that according to them maybe was blasphemous so they said okay and do you know that what is on top of the of his cross is inri you will also see i n r i and what it means is that i is pronounced like jesus or jesus so jesus of nazareth king of the jews in spanish i used to hear it uh, king yeah king of nazareth isn't that i n r i el rey de los judíos jesus the jesus nazareno el rey de los judíos if i remember correctly that is how the i n r i meant now what i feel is that if only he had said that no you know what i'm totally wrong i mean we need priests we don't need anything you can continue your business and all that he would have actually been forgiven but he stuck by the truth and when you stick by the truth sometimes and what was the truth that he was saying that you don't need a intermediary to get to god that is what he actually said okay another thing that i would like to point out here is that what are the some of the words that jesus used which have stuck to me in my heart one of them was he said be still and know now what is be still and know in my mind is don't get agitated don't go running here and there and if you are like as we say shanti be still and know in my mind i would say say that maybe be still and know that you are also the son of god and the way we say it, that you are god and they say that the only way to get to him is through being peaceful so be still and know another word that has always been very close to my heart is forgive them for they know not what they do and all of you have heard that now when people hurt you they don't really know what they are doing you see if you had if you really knew that you were a child of god and and, and that would displease him or that if you really believe that jesus and and the lord is there to 
watch you every moment of your life, if you really believed it, would you do something wrong? The fact is that we don't really believe it. There is also a theory that says that Jesus never laughed. And that makes me laugh. Because in my mind, a spiritual person is more joyful and more full of laughter than a non-spiritual person. But why does a spiritual person laugh? Because maybe he sees the... Like today, this morning, I was listening to a bhajan that... Uh, Bhajan bina din beet gayo. And there is also that bhajan that Tilly Bai sings, which is that one. Tune hira janam gavaya. Bhajan bina bavare tune hira janam gavaya. So, in my mind, the message is be joyful. Enjoy each moment of your life. Be still and know. And forgive them, for they know not what they do. I mean, nothing has been done to us which can remotely be compared to what was done to Jesus. Not remotely. Because he had nothing to gain. And yet he was ridiculed. They put a, do you know they put that thorn, that crown of thorns? Because they wanted to, they were mocking him, saying, oh, you are a king? Okay, now wear this crown. That is what they did to him. And that is why today is to be celebrated because, and they used to call him master. And we in India are so fortunate that we have so many gurus to go to. And we have a choice of gurus also. If you are into Vedanta, go to a jnani. If you are a bhakta, go, go for, the, for bhakti. If you are a, a bhakti jnan, and karma yogi, we all have to be. You know that all these things have to connect together. And that is how we go forward. Another theory that I have heard, and if any Christian is listening to me, he will forgive me because this is what I have heard. And this is what it kind of struck me as something to think about. And that is the story of Adam and Eve. We all have heard the story of Adam and Eve. What, that Adam was, okay, so that I, God created man and that Eve came out from his rib and then what was it? And they said, you do everything, but do not eat from the apple uh, from this tree. And true enough, you all know that uh, uh, Eve tempted Adam. He said, no, no, that's because God uh, doesn't want you to become greater than him or whatever. So you just eat the apple. And then they fell from grace and they fell from that garden of Eden, which was so beautiful. Now, I have heard that the interpretation of this, I think it was from a Hindu mystic, if I'm not mistaken, and I'll be forgiven if the Christians get offended because that's not my intention, is that according to the Hindu philosophy, we all are fallen angels. We all are divine. It is just that we have forgotten, all right? So if we have forgotten that we are divine, what makes us fall? Our ego. We have done, seen this over and over again. So what happened here? What was that apple? In my mind, it was Eve telling him that, in fact, God wants you to be egoistic. So eat this apple and you will be greater than him. In my mind, this is how I see it. And that's how the at the eating of the apple, the, we came into ego and we fell into Maya. And now we are finding our way back to Godhead in various different ways. So if there's anything else anyone else would like to share, do share because I want to get on with the Srimad Bhagavad also. But uh, otherwise, I think today we pay homage to Jesus. Again, see my nativity here. You will also see an angel. Here is the angel. These are things that I pick up from America. 
when I go abroad and see my Krishna above me. And there is also a theory which is not really very accepted, but that Christ and Krishna are one because there are certain things that are uh, kind of uh, close, like, uh, I don't know, remember the Herod that who killed the children and Kansa killed the children and Christ and Krishna are the same, but that one I would not swear upon. But after all, if they are all part of an, uh, I was listening to Murari Bapu's Katha yesterday, in fact, and uh, what he said is that before an avatar, like when, when, because he was talking about the Ramayan, and he said when Ram took birth, like he, he came as an avatar. Before that, the monkeys came and Hanumanji came and the Hanumanji was Shivji because he wanted to do this thing. And he said, these are all the unsh, you know, all the different parts of the avatar, which together, like, I mean, Ram with his three other brothers and all these other that came down became an avatar. It's like how even in the, for Krishna, it is said that uh, the, every, the, every particle of dust in Vrindavan, every tree in Vrindavan is, is a different rishis taking incarnation because they wanted to see the Leela of Krishna. So these are all the ansh avatars that really come down and kind of uh, form an avatar. So, these, in our mind, we, we believe that they are all avatars, and definitely, in my mind, Jesus was a great avatar, because he taught us that the way to God is to love, the way to God is to be simple, the way to God is to be spontaneous, the way to God is to be childlike. And what is childlike? If you see a child, he will, he will fight with you one moment, and will forget about it the next moment. So today we pay homage to Jesus, who just like during Janmashtami, we pay homage to Krishna. During Ram Nomi, we, play, we pay homage to Rama. And I always say that every year we feel that he is born in your heart. So let's remember Jesus today and remember him in our heart, yeah? So I think I'll stop here about Jesus. I'll stop the recording also. And then we will get on with the Srimad Bhagavat and the Ras Leela. Jai Sri Krishna.